Hey guys, how's it going? So today we are inside and we're gonna be making one of our favorites, chicken tortilla soup. It is a classic mid-December day. It's cold, gray, and wet out there, so this seemed like the perfect project to come inside and cook some soup. I should preface by saying Aaron is not a fan of soups and he really likes this one, so that's saying something about this recipe. Um, so I've got most everything I need laid out on the island here. Um, and depending on what time of year you're making this, you can utilize different things from your garden. Of course, mid-December, there's not a lot going on out there, but I do have garlic and onions left. A lot of garlic, I need to use the rest of these onions because they're starting to grow. But if you were to make this in the summer or early fall, you could utilize cilantro, jalapenos, um, what else? There's corn and beans and things like that. And depending on where you live, avocado. Um, so anyway, there's usually always something that you can utilize that you've grown yourself. We are doing a giveaway uh, coupled with this video. We've partnered with Anilon like we have on our last couple of videos and I'm excited because this is kind of a big one. Um, we're gonna be giving away two 11 piece advanced home cookware sets that also come with a couple bonus pieces and then also five of these salt cellars which are white and gray marble with a wood top. You keep your salt in there. Uh, it's super easy to enter the giveaway. We always try to make our giveaways easy. You don't have to like leave email addresses and all that business. All you have to do is follow the link that we will provide down below. Look at all the colors of cookware that Anilon offers and then come back to the video and comment what color you would want if you were to be one of the winners of the cookware sets. It's really that easy. We're gonna be picking one of those winners from Facebook, one from YouTube. So make sure you've commented below both of the videos on both platforms and then we will be picking at random the salt cellar win winners from both platforms as well and the last thing is, is that Anilon is offering 20 percent off on their website so kind of a good time of year right before christmas if you want to get yourself or somebody else some, some new cookware you can get 20 percent off code is garden answer 20. these are the pieces i'm using today i've got a half cookie sheet baking sheet right here a 10 and a quarter inch skillet and then this is so cool so this is a six quart stock pot with a locking lid, which I didn't even know existed. I've never had one, like check this out. So if you twist the lid, there's like these little bolt things inside. There's probably a proper name and you line them up on the sides of the lid, set it down and lock. Is that like a new thing? Cause I've never seen it before. It also has strainers in it. So I was thinking like this would be perfect for one of our pasta dishes. You can make your pasta and since the lid locks, you can just you know drain the water out, leave your pasta in there and just add all your stuff and that's it. I think that's pretty cool. So let's head up to the sun porch and see if we've got some limes ready. Okay, so this is our sun porch up here. I have three different citrus plants. I've got a lime right here and this is what we need. They were feeling pretty soft the other day, so I think we're gonna be okay with this. You can see my Meyer lemons are coloring up and looking so absolutely beautiful. And I've also got a pink lemonade lemon back here. And this one is in bloom and has fruit all over it. So they must really like it up here. But this makes me excited. You guys, the smell of this lime is crazy intense, like through the rind. There's a huge difference growing your own versus buying them at the grocery store. All right. So I am following a recipe from a blog called Avery Cooks. I printed this out a long time ago. I'm actually surprised it's in such good condition. Um, I do adjust things a little bit. In, I think everybody does that depending on your taste. Like I add a little bit of extra meat, a little bit more corn, that sort of thing. And then you can adjust the spiciness. The first thing we're gonna make are the tortilla strips, which are a garnish for the top of the soup. Now one could go and buy just a bag of tortilla chips and crunch those on top of the soup if you're wanting to do something quickly. Um, the other step in this recipe that you could do quicker is the chicken. So I've got some chicken all kind of cut up, some raw chicken we're going to saute, but you could also buy a rotisserie chicken if you wanted it to be really quick. Um, so we're gonna make the tortilla strips by cutting up some cord tortillas. So let me get those out real quick. I need to get 10 of these out. Two, four, six, eight, nine, and 10. And we cut these into about quarter inch strips. And we'll bunch them up and cut them in half. So then we're gonna take our baking tray and put a piece of foil on there just because it makes it easier to clean up. And we're gonna spread our tortilla strips out on that foil. Well, that doesn't work, does it? I need a bigger piece of foil, hold on. <laughs> I'll use that for something else. That's more like it. I'm so professional in the kitchen. So tortilla strips on the foil. Then we are gonna drizzle about two tablespoons or so of olive oil over the top of these, about right. And then some salt. And we'll give it a good mix with our hands. 
This is perfect when you have extra corn tortillas because I always overbuy. Whenever I make enchiladas or tacos or whatever, I always have extra corn tortillas. So you can always make them into tortilla strips and use them on top of things like this or casseroles, that sort of thing. Okay, so we're gonna spread them out in as even of a layer as I can get them. And then we're gonna put them in a 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes, maybe a couple minutes more than that. Don't look in my oven, it's dirty. <laughs> Do it quick. Do it. 15 minutes. So while those are cooking, we're going to try to get our chicken done and also the base of our soup done. So chickens first. I'm going to grab my skillet, my chicken, my spoon, and also my salt and pepper, which are over here. I'm gonna turn this on to kind of like medium high and give it a second. So the pan is feeling pretty warm now, so I'm just gonna pour the chicken in and sprinkle it liberally with salt and pepper, and we're just gonna saute it till it's nice and golden brown. The thing I like about these pans and skillets and stuff is that they are nonstick and they truly are nonstick. Like you don't have to add extra fat if you don't want to. I and mean, certainly you can use olive oil or butter um, just for that added extra flavor, um, but it's not necessary. And you can use metal utensils, like you don't have to worry about it, which for me, I've had the enameled cast iron and regular cast iron and other things that you have to be careful about what you use. Drives me nuts. So this is nice that you don't have to. Anyway, so we're gonna get that cooking. And while that's going, we're gonna prep our jalapeno, garlic, and onions over here. So all I'm gonna be doing is prepping these things. I need one cup of onion in kind of a fine dice, and then I'm gonna mince up four cloves, probably five cloves of garlic, we like garlic. And then one jalapeno, which I will seed, um, because I like to be able to adjust the heat. Like I can use some of these just raw ones on the top of the soup, and that way if somebody who doesn't like spice um, doesn't want jalapeno, they don't have to have a whole lot of spice. So I'm gonna do that all while I'm kind of keeping my eye on that chicken. a bag when I'm cutting up my jalapeno because you know I don't want to accidentally touch Benjamin in the face somewhere and get any jalapeno oil or my own face really. All right so now I'm going to take all of this over to the stove top then we'll grab our stock pot. All right lid off and medium high. Okay, so I've removed the chicken from the heat and I'm just gonna let it sit here for a second. This is feeling pretty warm. <laughs> just touched the bottom of the pan. We want a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in here. Tortilla strips are done. And we're going to add our onion and jalapeno and we'll let that kind of saute in the, I don't know if that's the right word, fry in the oil for about five minutes, stirring it occasionally. I'm gonna give them a couple more minutes. While we're waiting for this, I'm gonna get everything else ready. So I've got to open up a few cans of things. So I've gotta open up my diced tomatoes. These are just, it's one pound, 12, 28 ounces of just ready cut diced tomatoes. We're gonna use the whole thing, all the juice and everything. And then we need to rinse our black beans, which I think the recipe calls for a 15 ounce can. This one is 19, but we're gonna just use all the beans. Okay, we're just gonna let those sit and drain there. Bring this over and open it up. That smells good. Can you smell that, Erin? Mm -hmm. mm. May as well just bring everything else over here. I'm going to be using 32 ounces of chicken broth and then some spices. I'll talk about those in a minute. I think even with prepping the tortilla strips and the chicken, this is still gonna take less than 30 minutes to actually put everything together. Um, so imagine if you got a rotisserie chicken and a bag of tortilla chips. That would just cut your time down even more. Um, so I think almost gathering everything is just about as much time as prepping and, and cooking. So. I like that, something quick that's tasty. So look at those. They feel fairly crisp. I think they're gonna crisp up too when they're not as hot. So we're just gonna set these on the counter, let them cool off. So these have softened up quite a lot. They've been in there for about six minutes. So now I'm gonna add the garlic in and we'll give it a stir and let it cook for about two or three minutes. While that's cooking, I'm gonna chop my chicken up into just a little bit of smaller pieces. You could shred it if you want, but chopping's easier to me. A Little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. This is smelling good, so I'm gonna add everything else in. So at this point, what we'll do is we'll pour in our tomatoes. 
with the juice, our black beans, and then the recipe calls for one and a half cups of corn. I just put a whole 12 ounce bag in there. 32 ounces of chicken broth. And if at any point this soup looks like it's not, like it's too thick and it needs a little bit more moisture, just throw in a little bit more chicken broth or a tiny bit of water. I've never had that problem though. This always seems to be kind of the perfect chunky consistency and that's probably why Aaron likes it. And one tablespoon of lime juice. Oh my gosh, like there's no, there's no comparison. Oh, I'm so proud of my limes. Seriously proud of my limes. Like I can grow corn and peppers and squash and pumpkins and all those things, but I can't grow limes outside. So if I can make it happen inside, I just get so excited about that. So we'll add our spices in, which I can't remember exactly how much of each, let's see. One tablespoon of chili powder, and I'm using the hot Mexican style chili powder. Honestly, this, this soup doesn't come out as hot as you think it's going to with the amount of chili powder and um, jalapeno that's in there. I think it's just because there's so much, many other things to kind of dilute it a bit. Two teaspoons of cumin. One teaspoon of paprika. And then about one and a half to two teaspoons of salt. And one teaspoon of black pepper. Give that a stir. Look at that glorious soup. Okay, so now we're gonna let it come to a gentle simmer and we're just gonna let it simmer for five to seven minutes while I get all the garnishes ready. So it's been gently simmering for about seven minutes. So I'm gonna turn the burner off and move my soup over here and we'll start getting it all dished up. So here are all the garnishes that I have. I've got our baked tortilla strips grated cheddar cheese, sour cream, cilantro, fresh avocado, and lime. So if I was Erin, I would dip it up like this without any broth <laughs> or very little broth. The smell in here is just really yummy. A Little bit of sour cream, cheese, and I'm gonna be scant with my cheese. Now, if I wasn't doing this for a video, I would have a ton of cheese on the top of this soup. Okay, then we'll do some cilantro. Now, I forgot to say that you can stir the cilantro right into the soup right at the very end, but I find like for leftovers, I would rather have fresh on top of it every time rather than have it in the blend of soup. Then we'll do just a little bit of lime juice, some fresh avocado, place it so it looks pretty, and then a smattering of tortilla strips. Ta-da! So now I should probably take a bite. Okay, we want a lot of the goodies in here. It's gonna be really hot. Of all the recipes we've showed you, you have to make this one. Like really, this one is probably my favorite of all of them. It's so, so delicious. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed seeing this recipe come together. Remember to sign up for the giveaway. Super easy. Uh, comment down below this video letting us know which color of cookware you would want if you were to be one of the winners. I don't know how to say that in a more concise way. Anyway, thanks again guys and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.